All right, two more contests to look at in our Varsity Sports Now Championship Preview Show here, Jason. And we're going to go to North Dakota Class A. It's Milner North Sargent taking on the defending champs from Hazen. Two teams that have really shown what they can do in the playoffs. And we caught up with Tom Mix to ask him what to watch for in this battle. That defense has got to be there for the Bulldogs on Friday when they play Hazen. Uh, that is what they're going to have to live off of. And their offense is good enough to hang with that defense. They'll get opportunities, but they got to cash in on those. Well, I think Tom, you know, he covers Milner North Sargent a lot. He likes this team and their chances. I, however, look at Hazen and then I say it's going to be tough to take a team like that down that is rolling on all cylinders mm -hmm. right now. Briar Borneman hasn't played the whole season, but since he's been back, Hazen has been a tough team to beat. And their quarterback, Connor Dahl, he can run the ball. He will throw it a little bit. He hasn't had too much this year, but I think they're going to run it right down Milner North Sargent's throat. Even though Milner North Sargent, their defense, they've got some players. Wyatt Mund has had a great year. Dawson Peterson can make a lot of sacks. They're just not going to have time to get sacks because Briar Borneman's going to be down the field. Give me the Bison. I, I like the Bison as well, and, and Borneman's a big reason for that. 280 yards uh, last week in the, in the win over to Lax Burlington. Uh, I like Hazen as well to uh, to repeat in Class A. And finally now to the North Dakota nine-man ranks, West Hope Newburgh Glenburn, team that was in the Class A championship game last year. They dropped down to nine-man. The Sioux going to take on a very, very powerful Cavalier team. I'll tell you what, this might be the most powerful Cavalier team we've seen in a long time. Their average score this year, not their best score this year, their average score is 58-3. to that's a tough team to take down. But let's talk about West Hope Newburgh Glenburn. This is a team that's been on the road and beat ranked teams in the uh, first round of the playoffs, in the quarterfinals, and the semis. They've got one more ranked team to take on, and that's Cavalier. I think that's going to be too big of a task. i got to take Cavalier. Yeah, they've certainly earned their way uh, to the Fargo Dome. There's no question with the teams they beat in Grant County Flash for TGU and then Shiloh Christian. Uh, that 32 to 31 win, that was an amazing uh, win in the semifinals, but I'm going to throw 38 at you. 38 is the number of points they've given up all season. All of those have come in the playoffs. So I mean, that just that just goes to show you. That's a that's a good way to look at just how powerful this defense is uh, for Cavalier, and uh, and so I like Cavalier in this game as well. All right, that's going to do it for us. For Jason Andera, I'm Jay Elson. Enjoy the games, everybody. It's championship weekend. And we're going to be back here to break it all down for you in two half-hour specials next week here on Midco Sports Network. The North Dakota Championship Special at 7.30. The South Dakota Championship Special to follow at 8.30. We'll see you then.